Hey guys, in the last video we left where we received the access token following a post request to the URL of token and now we will have to do something with this token. So what I'm going to do is create a JavaScript function that actually saves a cookie for the given session. So all I did is actually attach a den function uh, so that when this post request is finished, it's completed a function uh, with a response uh, a borrowing, um, I mean a function that uh, with a response parameter will actually be executed and uh, we'll have to use the response data to get the access token and save it to a cookie. To set up the cookie, I'm going to use plain old JavaScript. Uh, we're going to use the document cookie function that it's going to set up a cookie. And we're going to call this access token. So the name is going to be access token. And the value is going to be equal to the response theta access token. Um, and then we are going to specify the path like so is going to be equal to slash that it's going to it's me mean, it means that it's going to be related to the whole website so the slash path once we have done this we can actually try this out stopping the server and going on the login page which i'm gonna show to you in a second once i reset the server There we go. So go and log in and open up the, co the Google Chrome console. Log in. And if you, once you press submit, there is no feedback at the moment. But if we go back at home and we write document cookie, we can see that we have a couple of cookies. There's one that I set up before the video to try it out and this one which is access token which is the one we actually wanted so uh, this is alright this is working just fine um, once we have this we have to retrieve the cookie with name access token so um, since this is a single string we'll have to split this right here like so if we do split with passing semicolon we have a couple of those which are this one and this one actually we also have a space which is not cool we'll have to remove the space we'll have to get the name and then split it again on the equal so we're gonna have to do split then get the first element, then split on um, the equals so that we have both the name and the token and get the first value which is actually the token itself. So this is actually not as simple as I wanted but luckily there are a lot of ways to that other people already did this so we can actually get this code from Stack Overflow, which is completely fine. Or you can use some other framework, whatever you want. I'm going to just copy this real quick and uh, use that in my code. So what I'm going to do is copy this function, go on the script.js, paste this function get cookie, go on the footer of my page, and put the script src uh, js script js there we go and refresh the server so i should be including that let me check this out real quick um oops something is wrong I didn't close the tag. Yeah, my bad. I was still in JavaScript mode. So I'm gonna refresh this. Okay. And 
uh, if we go on the login page again, sources JS, script JS, we have this. So I'm going to do get cookie access token. And sure enough, we can get our cookie. Okay, so now we set up cookie. We are, are able to get the access token. The next thing we need to do is to actually use this. So first thing, let's redirect our user to the home page. So going back on our login page, let's uh, actually do documents, uh, location, replace, and do a slash. There we go. Refresh the server. Go back to login page. Uh, so we're gonna refresh, log in, admin, admin password, submit. Sure enough, we are back here. Okay, uh, let's see if we have our cooking. So document, uh, actually get cookie, access token. There we go, we have our access token. So everything is completely fine. Let's create a function that returns the user, current logged in user username. So we create a get mapping with value get username and create public string get username uh, passing nothing actually. It's going to return security context holder get the context get the authentication and get the name. So this will return the name of the current user if it is authenticated. Otherwise, it's gonna return something like anonymous user. Now that we did create the get username method, we can go on the script, actually on the nav HTML, and what we're going to do is we are going to attach on this navigator a P, a paragraph after this div. So attach a paragraph where we're going to print a logged in MSG that it's going to be retrieved from the Vue.js instance that we are just going to create. So give this an ID such as id logged in and save this file right here let's go on uh, let's create a function that is gonna um, do is gonna modify the logged in message so the first thing i'm gonna do is create a new vue.js instance We're gonna attach this to the previously created div, so logged in, and the data is gonna be equal to the logged in message that we created. We um, were referring to in the nav HTML, as you can see. So this is gonna display a message if a message exists. Afterwards, we can basically do a mounted. Uh, so when the, the 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 page is loaded and uh, view instance is mounted, we are going to set up a variable is logged in, uh, which you, we can set up to false just initially. Uh, so we're gonna check if the get cookie access token uh, is equal to null. Of course, the is logged in where is, is gonna be false. Okay, so is logged in equal false. But what we're gonna do is actually do if not get cookie access token is equal. To null, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff. So the thing we're gonna do is Axios get we're gonna get the get username 
with the access token which is provided by the get cookie function so access token and once this is done we are going to do something we are going to create a function that actually bind this so that this is referred to the Vue.js instance. What we're going to do is set the this logged in MSG equal to welcome back and the response data. Also, we'll have to make sure that there are no exception catch function error because sometimes if the access token is invalid this actually responds with uh, 401 unauthorized which is something we want to address and we could do a console log or uh, maybe write invalid token or maybe later we're gonna delete the cookie or something along the lines of that okay and we should be all set oh uh, yeah i think we have to we can start restart the server and try this out so as you can see uh if i refresh my page i have no messages let's try and log in with admin and admin password submit and there you go you have welcome back admin as you can see right here well if i go anonymously i have no message so this is working fine uh, in the next video we will delete that cookie that we were talking about before in to catch the exception and implement the logout function